Ever wonder how metal halide lights and light emitting diodes LED compare? Well, here's a head-to-head -head comparison of the two followed by an in-depth discussion of each technology in turn. Metal halides are compounds formed when metal and halogen elements combine. They include things like sodium chloride, salt, and uranium hexafluoride. Metal halide lamps produce light by passing an electric current through a combination of mercury and metal halide gas. They function very similarly to other gas discharge lamps, the principal difference being the composition of the gas. The introduction of metal halide vapor generally improves both the efficiency and the quality of the light. Metal halide lights are three five times as efficient as incandescent bulbs and produce a much higher quality light. In many cases, and depending on the particular mix of metal halides, they have a very high color temperature, up to 5,500 K. This means that metal halide bulbs can be very useful for high-intensity applications like vehicle headlamps, athletic facility illumination, or photographic lighting. By far the best thing metal halides are going for them is the high-quality light they output. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. A diode is an electrical device or component with two electrodes through which electricity flows characteristically in only one direction. Diodes are generally made from semiconductive materials such as silicon or selenium solid-state substances that conduct electricity in some circumstances and not in others. When current passes through the semiconductor material, the device emits visible light. It is very much the opposite of a photovoltaic cell. Considering the upside, you might think that LED lights are a no-brainer. While this is increasingly becoming the case, there are still a few trade-offs that need to be made when you choose LED. In particular, LED lights are relatively expensive. The upfront costs of an LED lighting project are typically greater than most of the alternatives. This is by far the biggest downside that needs to be considered. That said, the price of LED are rapidly decreasing and as they continue to be adopted on mass, the price will continue to drop. That all said, the upfront cost of LED when compared to metal halide lights are actually fairly close. Both lights typically sell for around $10, $30 per luminaire. Of course, this can change in both cases depending on the particular light in question. The first practical use of LED was in circuit boards for computers. Since then, they have gradually expanded their applications to include traffic lights, lighted signs, and more recently, indoor and outdoor lighting. LED lights are a wonderful solution for gymnasiums, warehouses, schools, and commercial buildings. They are also adaptable for large public areas, road lighting, and parking lots. LED are available in a wide range of color temperatures that generally span from 2200K 6000K. Metal halide lamps generate a very cool white light. They are available in color temperatures as low as 3000K. Some metal halides are available with extremely cool color temperatures up to 20000K. CRI for LED is highly dependent on the particular light in question. That said, a very broad spectrum of CRI values is available ranging generally from 6595. Metal halides are perhaps the best source of high CRI white light on the market. LED are an ideal light for purposely turning on and off because they respond rather instantaneously. They produce steady light without flicker. Metal halide lights require a notoriously long warm-up period. Many stadiums have traditionally relied on metal halide lights, but the bulbs can take 15-30 minutes to get to full operating power. LED are very easy to dim and options are available to use anywhere from 100% of the light to 0.5%. LED dimming functions by either lowering the forward current or modulating the pulse duration. LED lights are not compatible with traditional incandescent dimmers so you need to purchase LED dimmer switches as well if you want to dim. Metal halide lights can be dimmed through the use of different electric or magnetic ballasts but the process changes the voltage input to the light and can consequently alter the light characteristics. Generally speaking metal halide lights are less efficient when run at less than full power. In some cases dimming can also cause the light to prematurely expire. LED emit light for 180 degrees. This is typically an advantage because light is usually desired over a target area. You can read more about the impact of directional lighting by learning about a measurement called useful lumens or system efficiency. Metal halide lights are omnidirectional meaning they emit light for 360 degrees. Much of these emissions must be reflected in slash or redirected which means losses and lower overall system efficiency. LED are very efficient relative to every lighting type on the market and extremely efficient relative to incandescent bulbs. Typical source efficiency range is 37 and 120 lumens slash where LED really shine, however, is in their system efficiency. Most values for LED system efficiency fall above 50 lumens slash watt. Metal halide lights have average efficiency. They lose out to LED principally because their system efficiency is much lower due to all of the losses associated with omnidirectional light output and the need to redirect it to a desired area. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Keep watching and stay with us subscribing to this channel. Have a great day.